so duh. Welcome to another edition of He's on His Phone. So, duh. Wow, you're whipped, bro. What? We're whipped. 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 You're. Uh, I gotta be a good boyfriend. Today we're trying another flavor of Jones Soda. This is red licorice Jones Soda for Halloween. Got this at Target. There's gonna be one more again, either tomorrow or the next day sometime. I've always wanted a red licorice soda and Ooh. finally it has arrived. Oh, they, it's not red licorice though. It's called Night of Red Licorice. Oh, so it's like a Night of Living Dead concept. Yeah, but it has Frankenstein on it. I don't Which really understand that. Oh. The last one had a zombie. Why? <laughs> okay. Oh, bubblegum flavored. Oh, that's gross. Nice sweetness though, but flavors. Mm. I see all your dreams have just went down the toilet. You've wanted this since you were a little kid. What happened? It did not meet up to my expectations. <laughs> I've always like thought I've loved red vines and I always thought like, imagine if you just were able to melt down red vines and drink it. That'd be an amazing beverage. And then finally today when Matt introduced me to red licorice, I was like, I was so excited because my dream has come true. But now this dream has turned into a nightmare. It's gross. I'm not a big fan of this. I mean, it's not disgusting. It just did not meet up to my expectations. Yeah. I feel like I'm in 500 days of summer. I feel like <laughs> my expectations was this to be a, you know, like red vines and taste good and I should be happy and it was going to be delicious. Now the reality is it wasn't delicious and I'm not happy. I give this a freaking one out of five Chris Reckless faces. Not that bad. I give it a two. My expectations totally brought this down. It's at if least I, a two. If I didn't have those expectations, I probably got a two, but my expectations got totally shut down by Jones and the red licorice, it totally shut <laughs> down to a one. Jesus Christ. You're on your rant of all rants. It's, it's just got a nice sweetness. I don't like the flavor much. It does taste like red licorice, but a little bit more like bubble gum as well. I, it doesn't meet up to what I want it to be. It's so disappointing. I mean, even the can's red. It says red licorice. The last one was a lot better. The last one was definitely a yeah. lot better. But, uh, I mean, the caramel apple is like, I didn't have any expectations for that. And it, it was beyond anything I would thought it'd be of. But this here was, you had a, a, a freaking, uh, you know, I gave you a certain, like, um, uh, are we imagining time? Are we imagining time? <laughs> You're just going on and on. Well, I had, a, I had, the expectation was this high, and they came up short, like, down yeah. here. They just didn't reach it. It wasn't even close. You keep you're saying the same thing over and over again. I know. I'm just random about how disappointed I am with the with this drink. So if you're gonna buy these gimmick things they have at Target, which are probably on sale by the time this is posted, but uh, just don't avoid this one. The last one was a lot better, and uh, we'll have candy corn soda coming up in a day or so. Stay tuned for that one. Thank you for joining us in this edition of Soda. We'll see you next time.